I want to come back to you when if you're ever going live, and I want to have the like I want to have full knowledge of Christianity, and you actually did help me. Like I want to thank you so much. You actually did help me, and I'm definitely gonna look into Christianity. Hi, welcome to Religious Insight, and in this video with God Logic, a female Muslim says she will look into Christianity after God Logic convince her beyond every reasonable doubt. Let's watch this video to get more fascinating details. Just to be clear, so you're saying that you believe in the Quran because of its miraculous scientific facts that it has in it, right? So yep. if science is good enough to prove the Quran, then science is good enough to disprove the Quran, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if there's scientific inaccuracies in the Quran, then that would mean that the Quran would be false. Can I say something mm -hmm. about that? Science, I don't believe is truly true because the person who discovered um, that we came from monkeys believed in God himself. So how would a person who discovered that also believe in God? No, no. So no, he, he, he didn't really. But we're, if we're going off of what you, your, your criteria was science, the scientific facts that we know, the scientific facts that we have, you're saying you believe in the Quran because of its scientific, um, you know, accuracies that it gets right. So, Not fully, but some part of it. Okay, so if 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 it was if it's good enough to substantiate the Quran, to prove that it's true, then the parts where the Quran is inaccurate scientifically should prove that it's false otherwise it's not a good argument to use you shouldn't you shouldn't believe in it if it has scientific accuracies and say oh that's the reason why islam is true the quran is true if it also has inaccuracies that should disprove it what, what is one inaccuracy that the scientific have proven because i don't believe that we were made out of molecules but scientific says that we were well, okay, so let me let me ask you this. According to what we know scientifically, what came first, the heavens or the earth? Um, earth, I think. I like I think the space came space first came and then first, right. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so space is the heavens, the universe. Space came first, the heavens came first, and then the earth. Okay? Now, the Quran says otherwise. The Quran says that the earth came first and then the heavens. Hmm. That's in chapter 2, verse 20. You want to look at that real quick. It's chapter 2, verse 29. Chapter 2, verse 29. Which surah is it? Do you know? B Bakara. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Chapter 2, verse 29, Surah Bakara, ayah 29. It says, it said, how can you be ungrateful to Allah who has bestowed life upon you when you were lifeless? Then he will cause you no, no, to die. No, no, and no, no, bring no, 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 no. Bakara chapter two, <laughs> verse 29. Bakara, Surah Bakara, chapter two, verse 29. Guys, make sure you guys hit the like button if you guys haven't already. YouTube family, go ahead and hit that like button if you guys like discussions like this. I pulled it. Okay, so what does it say? You, uh, are you on your phone? Are you on your phone? You got to come back to the app because I can't hear you if you're uh, if you're off the app. It says, doesn't say that it was made from, like, he made earth first. It says that he bestowed li life on you when you were lifeless. No, brother, that's our sister. That's not the, that's not the verse. That is. It's verse, Bakar 2, verse 29. 29. 29, yeah. So chapter, two verse, dude, so chapter 2, verse 29 says... It is he that has made everything on the earth. Then he rose up, he rose towards the heaven and made it seven heavens. That's what chapter two, verse 29 says. Could you show me where it says that? Because I have the Quran pulled up. Like I have the Quran in it. I have the English translation. Sure, sure. 
uh, you, can you can you show me? Can you uh, look? I don't like think what, I can present my screen. Well, but, but what is the chapter in the verse you're looking at? Okay, it's chap uh, Surah Al Baqarah, and then Surah verse twenty nine. That's impossible. Okay, hold on. I'm put it on the screen and then show you. That's not what the verse says. You're at the wrong verse. I don't know what verse you're at, but that's not it. Look. So um, I'm going to turn my camera around. Let me do this real quick. Take the effect off real quick. Okay. Oops. You see? Chapter 2, verse 29. But that's Is that a website? Because I'm taking it from the Quran, and that's not true. No, that's that's, this is the Quran, man. You're on the wrong verse. Actually, it's on YouTube. Oh. You're on the wrong verse. So here, guys, let me show it on show my screen on YouTube too, so that everybody can see. It's chapter two, verse twenty. No matter where I go, let's say I went to Quran.com. If I go to Quran.com, it's the same thing. Oh, if, if, wait, can you, can you, do you know how to read Arabic by chance? Nope, but I, they have the Arabic breakdown. If you want me to do that. Yeah, that would be great. Okay, so go back here. They have the roots. He said, Hua, he is the one created Lakum for you. What is in the earth? All of it. Thuma then, or moreover, he turned to the heaven and fashioned them seven heavens. Samawatin. Are you sure it's chapter 2, verse 29? Yes. I can show you, wait, maybe I can turn on my screen somehow. I can show you from the Quran what's on verse 29. Okay, there we go. Never mind. Shut up. It is he who created for you all that is on earth and then turned above and fashioned it into seven heavens. Boom, you got it. See? Yep. I told you. So you see how it says that Allah created the earth first, everything on it, and then created the heavens? There's a, I think there's a different meaning behind it because a lot of stuff in the Quran has a meaning behind it which we don't understand sometimes. That's it is pretty he clear. Who created That's pretty clear. If you want, if you want, I mean, on your own time, you should check out Ibn Kathir's tafsir on it. He he affirms it. He's like, yes, you know, the earth was created first, then the heavens, and he and he gave the analogy of that's how houses are built. Houses are built by creating the foundation first, the floor first, which he says is the earth, and then the roof, which is the heavens, the space. That's what Ibn Kathir says. Above and it says, and then turned above and fashioned it into seven heavens. Mm -hmm. So what is the meaning behind turn? It doesn't clearly say that he then created. It says yes, it he does. turned above and fashioned it. Yeah, yeah. So it says he created everything in the earth. For, he created everything in the earth. And then it says, then, Thuma, then he turned towards the heaven and made them seven heavens. So he created the earth first, then made the heavens. I didn't even know there were seven heavens. I just knew there were seven gates to heaven. Oh, yeah, man. There's seven heavens. Seven heavens. Pretty interesting. But Christianity and Islam has a lot of similar like similar, you know, so uh, uh, in, I, I would I would say similarities, sure, but more differences exactly. than similarities. But focus here, focus okay. here. Don't don't lose track. Yeah, I know. I'm trying. So, 
So if, if, if the Quran, if you're saying that the Quran is true because of scientific accuracies, then you should also say that the Quran is false because of scientific inaccuracies. This right here is a scientific inaccuracy. We know this is not true. What is not true? That the seven earth, uh, the earth was not made first? Correct. Because the space was made. But exactly. even in science... Exactly. Um, Scientifically, this is false. Scientifically, this verse is false. So then we should say that the Quran is false then, right? Hmm. I would actually have to do some information yeah. about it because it says here where I search up more hadith, it says, after creating the heaven, he then rolled out the earth, placed water on it and created pasteurized on it. It says that in the hadith? Yeah. Well, I'm reading that from a verse. But first, it says. Ah, so then, so then that would mean is it is it saying that the heavens was the heaven was created before the earth? Well, heaven, I think. Is that what the verse saying? If yeah, the, I'm pretty sure. If the verse is saying that, then that's a contradiction. Then, if it's saying that the heaven was created before the earth, then that clearly contradicts the verse we just read that says. Okay. Okay, can I? I understand now. Mm -hmm. It says, you know how it says heavens? Mm -hmm. Th there's a heaven, right? There's a heaven in it all. No, but then heavens, smoke. it's meaning the heavens that we are going to go into. No, it doesn't. There's this, there's, it is. Let, I'm going to explain. There's seven heavens. There's I, I only. Know, I know what you, I know what you. He created I, the seven heavens first. And then there was the seven gates of heaven. Go to, go to chapter 41. After creating the earth. Let me let me help you. Go to chapter go to chapter forty one. I'm gonna. Have surah Bakra? No no no. Chapter forty one. Which surah? Uh, let's see the name of it. Chapter forty one. Hey, what's where my screen go? Oh, shit. Chapter forty one is surah Fusilat. Got it. Sir you go to chapter 41, it goes into even more detail of how the earth was created first, then the heavens. And the heavens, the lowest heaven of those is our space that's adorned with stars and stuff. It'll, it'll show you. It'll break it down for you. Which verse is it? So we're going to start at verse 9. We're going to start at verse 9, and then we're going to read all the way to verse 12. Okay. It says, he created, our, he is the Lord of all worlds. There's other worlds here too. And that's, um, that's like there's, other creatures in this world too. No worries. No. That's not the contention. Just focus. So. You see it? So I, I'll, I'll read it so you don't have to leave. Go off your phone. I'll, I'll read it out loud for us. Okay. <clears throat> but you could just follow along as you as you. But I'm going to read it. All right. So it says. Say. Do you barely disbelieve in him who created the earth in two days and you set up rivals with him? That is the Lord of the worlds. All right. So the earth was created in two days. You see that so far? Mm -hmm. All right. Next verse. Verse 10. He placed therein firm mountains from above it and he blessed it and measured it, measured therein its sustenance in four days. OK, so he created the earth in two days and then created everything on it in four days. Right. Some try to say that, oh, it's just all together. It doesn't matter. It's not the contention. So we have we, you see how it's giving us a sequence of what happened. First, he created the earth. Then he created everything that's on the earth. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, verse 11. 
Verse 11 says, then he rose over toward the heaven when it was smoke. It was just smoke. It wasn't anything yet. So he rose toward the heaven when it was smoke and, mm -hmm. and said to it and to the earth, come, both of you willingly and unwillingly. They both said, we come willingly. Okay. So mm -hmm. the heaven wasn't even made yet. It was just smoke. So the earth is finished and made. The heaven is just smoke right now. It's not made yet. Okay. Then verse 12 says, then he completed and finished from their creation, seven heavens in two days. So the earth, two days, then everything on the earth in four days, then the heavens in two days. Okay. So a full week and yeah. yeah. Yeah, basically, you know, you know, if we count it up as eight days, some try to combine it and, you know, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. What matters is the sequence of events. We see that the earth mm -hmm. is created first. We see that everything on the earth is then created. And then we see that the seven heavens are created. Now, how do we know that the seven heavens, that those heavens, you know, is ours? You know, you know, one of those heavens is us, belongs to us, is our space. It says, right, uh, it says we adorned the lowest heaven, so the seven heavens, the lowest heaven, it says we adorned with stars or lamps, it might say in other translations, to be adornment as well as to guard such is the decree of him the almighty the all-knower so the lowest heaven is ordained with stars that's our space mm -hmm. that's our space so the lowest heaven is made from stars is that what you're saying not made from stars it has stars in it it's made up of okay. like he decorated it with stars do you know what the seven heavens are? There's different levels. There's different levels. Yeah. You know, we get you know, up there. You got they're all the same, except each heaven stands for something. That's so if you're true. fasting, if you fast on the month of Ramadan, you will go to one heaven. That's not you, true, my, my friend. That's it not, is. That's not true. The lowest heaven is adorned with stars. That's our heaven. That's uh, That's our space. That's our, that's our universe. You understand that? I don't understand what you're saying. I don't. I mean, it's it's pretty clear. What What are you trying to say? That the only lowest heaven is only for us. Not only for us. I'm just saying that the lowest heaven is our sky. It's our it's our universe. Look, oh, if, we, oh. if we go to look, just so that you don't think that I'm like. No, I didn't understand what up. you were saying. I got. I get what you're saying now. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's our universe. Even the scholars understood this. If we open up Ibn Kathir. We open up Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir. He says it. Some details of the creation of this universe. So it's talking about our universe. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So according to the Quran, the universe was created after the earth mm -hmm. which is scientifically false hmm. you see the I, I think i don't have full knowledge and i definitely think i will need more knowledge on this of course but this made me look at things differently than what i used to look at things and then i see there's a lot of like chat going on it's all so i want to come back to you when if you're ever going live and i want to have the like i want to have full knowledge of christianity and you actually did help me like i want to thank you so much you actually did help me and i'm definitely going to look into christianity and but i i have firm belief in my religion but i'm not i don't have blind faith i'm going to look into christianity and i'm gonna i'm you know, I love Christians. I love everyone. Everybody so I don't want to be have blind faith. I'm going to look into Christianity. Good. You made me realize a lot of stuff. So I want to thank you. I, and I, I want to thank you, too, for being mature, for being respectful, for listening and being open like that is a heart like yours is beautiful. So 
Thank you so much. And look, I'm live all the time. So you're welcome mm -hmm. anytime. If I see you and you want to request up, you want to ask about Christianity, um, I, I'll do my best for you, okay? All right, welcome back, guys. I believe you enjoyed watching this video. Let us know your views about this video in the comment section. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Hit the notification button to be notified each time we post new and amazing videos like this. And also don't forget to share our videos with your friends and your family. Do it, like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Many Muslims have been priding themselves on the scientific miracle of the Quran. They believe that that is the ultimate and the confirmation that the Quran is true. The so-called scientific miracle of the Quran is a big fallacy because you are relying your faith in a scientific miracle because you believe that it authenticates your faith then what will happen when that same science is used to show that your quran lied about so many things then i believe that should be an enough evidence also to disprove your quran without using science you will see that the quran is confused and it contradicts itself surah 41 verse 9 to 12 says that the earth was created first why surah 79 verse 30 mentioned that the earth was spread out after the creation of the heaven so at this point using a simple logic without using the scientific method as they always say you can see that the Quran contradicts itself. At this point, we don't know what Allah created first. One chapter of the Quran is telling us that Allah created it first. Then another chapter is now telling us that the heaven was created before Allah spread the earth. So you can see that there is so much contradiction here from the Quran. So let's use science to disprove Islam's view about the Trinity. This shows that three different entities can exist in perfect harmony and still can retain its identity. So if we choose to use science to disprove the Quran stand and the Quran's view about the Trinity, you can see that it exposes a lot of lies. And one of the methods that we can use is that three different dimensions in one space, that is height, width and depth. Each dimension is 100% of its own kind but they exist in one space. Secondly, one man in three different nature, body, spirit, and soul. Each nature is 100% of its own kind. If man can exist in three nature, how more of God that has the power to do all things? If you're saying that God cannot exist in three form, but science has also proved that man has three nature, the body, the spirit, and soul. So if man that is being created by God can exist in three nature, how much more of God who has the power, the ability, and the capacity to do all things? Thirdly is time. One time in three different periods. We have the past, we have the present, and we have the future. Each period is 100% of its own kind. Each of these categories exists in three different periods, and they can exist on their own. So, you have lived the past, you are in the present, and the future is ahead, and they exist in the same period. So, all these are scientific methods that can be used to test the Quran stand on the Trinity. Guys, let us know your views about this video in the comment section. And if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please do so. Hit the notification button to be notified each time we post new and amazing videos like this. Thank you for watching this video. See you in our next one.